going on YouTube family welcome back to the channel it's TNT Neon Prime here and we're back with another review this time it's a review on Transformers Legacy Evolution Dinobot Swoop part of the core class Dinobots to form Volcanus and I was stoked and psyched about getting this guy when I seen him had a great feeling when I went to this target I was going to pick these guys up Matter of fact, long story short, when I pulled up in, in the parking lot, I got out of the truck. I said, hold on, guys, uh, Swoop and Scar, I'm coming to get you. So, I uh, yes, I picked the Swoop and Scar today, but right now we're going to focus on Swoop. And there he is in all his glory in this box. All right, so let's go over the box art. Of course, we have a windowless package here. Um, Hasbro, we need plastic over the windows because people are taking the guys out of their packages and stuff. So we need plastic over the windows. Please bring us windows with plastic over them so we can, you know, so we can get our our, our figures like we pose again. But anyway, here he is, Legs of Evolution, Donald Box Swoop. Transformers here on the side. We have the artwork here on the on the side here. Also, um, got Dinobot Swoop on the back side here of his uh, box. See, so can't get that focus in. All right, we have Swoop here looking real good on the side of the box and everything. All right, enough about that. Let's open this box and get this guy out of here. All right, here we have him out of the box, looking all good. And to me, right now, he's looking like the best looking one out of the bunch. I mean, as far as, especially as far as like articulation goes, he looks like he's about the best one out of the box. But let's go over his face sculpt. Let's bring this gorgeous guy in. Get a focus up. So there you have his face sculpt. Let me see if I can get him. Yeah, face sculpt going on with a little bit of silver on the face face plate here. Like his eyes is done in blue. We got a nice red here on his head. <clears throat> nice blue here on the shoulders. Yes, right here. Nice blue on the eyes here. Nice paint here on the dinosaur on the pterodactyl head paint here um i wish the wings could be painted would have been painted but i can deal with that because you already know your boy i'm gonna paint him you already know all right nice detailing here we got a little red stripe here on the side come already with his legs locked in and everything so looking real good but yeah we're gonna do something about this d wings i'm painting them silver like it's supposed to be yeah looking right good wings tab into the back nice nice very nice so let's get down to articulation head is on a ball joint as you can see right there he can look that high up uh, rotate it's stiff rotate right and left you can see there arms got it arms with locked in tabbed right here on the side nice tight ball joint so they can go all the way up and of course they can go around has elbow so far slag slug and grimlock do not have no elbow bend so this is a plus on this elbow rotation no bicep rotation um has a waist swivel right there leg can kick forward can kick down i mean knee can bend down also can kick back that far leg has a thigh swivel and that's about it no articulation in the feet these feet are painted so this whole leg here is painted so there's a lot of paint right here the forearm is also painted 
so yeah there's a lot of paint on this guy also i just cast that out right there so yeah that's much articulation we can get we can of course we can kick arms out to the side here and can get a full van down let's test that theory so yeah you can get a full van down and everything let's back out a little bit so yeah looking looking really really good all right let's bring his boys in and we can get some size comparisons all right up first we got slag not slug but slag as i grow up to know him as slag all right let's put his arm down stiff arms i like that his arms are stiff we have slug sludge slug up there sludge all right and now we have the leader grimlock even though they made him a foot so there you go for that size comparison all right and i have an extra grimlock so you can see how tall he is against grimlock in grimlock's combined foot mode so you can see how that looks all right Alright, let's get down to transformation of this guy. Alright, so let me pull back just a little bit and get this focused up just a little bit. Alright, so first off, what we're going to do is tilt his head as far as it can go. Like that, bring the beak up. So we just tilt it back as far as it goes so we can have that clearance. I mean, you can get it as far back as you want right there let me get this focus back let me get it right there then what we're going to do is tab the arms in so it's simple trying to make so the hole there's a hole right here in the tab tab the arm in just locking it in all right then bring the same to this side right then we're going to take the legs tab them together like so and bring his wings out untapping them from the peg and the pegs here will go into the slots right here in his back like i said it's a real simple transformation and there he go in his dino mode and it looks very 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 good all right so let's get him start looking over him pretty much what we've seen in robot mode with the beak and everything uh of the pterodactyl is here um one thing i wish they could have done was could have hid this right here like make this where this flap could have came up out of his chest and covered this or put a little bit of articulation here in the beak but that's fine can't deal can't can't complain about that um we have articulation here in the wing here at the tip of the wing also also here at the tip of the wing so we make it look like he, we, he can fly and all that he has his vents here which i would be repainting them also so he had the vents here his intakes so you know um for his flight have there so pretty much what we've seen and robot mode we see here in, in pterodactyl mode with the uh, exception of his pterodactyl feet so he can sit like that but you see what i'm saying with the the head syndrome so <laughs> if he's sitting up like this had a head syndrome so i guess you can put him like that and that'll work out just fine all right so let's get some size comparison with the with the bro with his brotherins all right, up first we're gonna have slag. All right, next we're gonna have slug, slugs, slug. Can't never get his name right. Forty-eight years old, done seen this thing since the beginning. Still can't get his name right. <laughs> and here we have leader Grimlock. So you see the size comparison on the neck all right all right so now 
let's get this guy into his combined mode. All right, before we can get this guy in combined mode, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So, forgot to show off his guns. So, here are his guns that also combine into his fist. So, the guns are gray with a nice shiny paint on. So, they are two of the same. And they can go mount up under Mr. T Swoop here. There you go. So what it is, it's a little hole here. And what they do, they can mount right here up under his wing. And get it right here. Sorry for taking it out of this shot. And there he go with his guns on his wings. Alright. Straight from there, let's go ahead into combined mode. First off, we're going to take the hand legs and just bring them down, keep them, keeping them together, and um, lifting this peg here out. If I can get it to come out of here. So, lifting that peg to come out right there. And the directions say, so let's let's put these put these together now I did it without the directions but I'm thinking the way I did it the, first, well, the way I did it it seemed like to me it should go the way I did but the directions say otherwise but for one we're gonna put the two guns together like so and it's gonna make the fist all right I like the way how they engineer, uh, engine, engineer the weapons to the guns. So pretty much we in combined mode right now. But the directions say to take his waist and take his bottom bottom self and rotate it like that. So the inside will be facing, you know, the inside of the uh, arms. And so we're going to take the peg, the slots here, and peg them into these guys right here, which we have the arm mode now. So pretty much this is the arm mode of Volcanus. So, but, uh, okay. We have his fist here. Only thing that he better do is pretty much rotate um, the arm up and down. He won't have no elbow movement. So I figure if we turn it like that, we have you know a little bit of you know elbow movement. But we can't rotate the fist, rotate the hands. So yeah, it's funny how this is set up, but. You know, it is what it is. Everything just pegs in. So, pretty much, there he go in his arm mode. So, looking, you know, it's, it's looking decent. Oh, let me, got to fold the leg on the wings back. Make sure these guys are pegged into place. Like so. So, take this, take the elbows, plug it into place. And we pretty much have arm mode. And so y'all can see that I'm not crazy. That's pretty much what the directions say is we rotating it. Yeah, the feet here, the legs here should be facing with the wings in the back. So yeah pretty much that's how it's supposed to be and the hollow part of the leg should be facing this way so yeah all right so there he go in his uh arm mode all right so let's get the other part of the guys together and put see can we get see what volcanoes look like 
All right, so let's bring in Mr. Volcanus. Canis. And roll up on this dude. Get him nice and focused. And Swoop is going to be his right arm. So, baby, we're going to take the peg. Peg it into that slot right there. Plug it in, plug it in. And there we go. We have Mr. Volcanus with his right arm, literally his right arm swoop. And so that's how he's looking so far. And yes, I have two, uh, I have for the legs, I have two Grimlocks. So, but yeah, there he go with uh, Mr. Swoop on his arms. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, peg it from the back and see how he look with this height right here. And I think it looks better with this height with the volcanoes being this tall. So if I can get him standing up straight, he gonna call me a lot because he was standing up straight from all the little things I was doing. I guess I could get rid, move. Uh, let's see. Move the little the feet right here. The little gun for the feet. I'm gonna clean them up, get them back here. All right, so far, there go Mr. Volcanus with, you know, his right arm with his right hand man, Swoop. <laughs> um, so right now I got him standing up with the uh, with Grimlock legs unfolded. Um, to me, it looked more portion like that. Um, besides having the little stubby stubby little folded feet back here you know what I'm saying so I mean we put him back here and I mean I guess he looked proportion like that also but what I'm planning on doing is taking another Grimlock and putting his arm putting it here and then combining this one with our scar just to see, just to see how he look. But the arm is way, to me, is way too skinny. Way too skinny. Let's get him over here. So, like, to me, the arm is way, 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 way too skinny. So, I mean, look how skinny that arm is on me. So, but he's coming together pretty, pretty good. All right, so let's talk about this guy in the closing credits. All right, I'm gonna tell you if y'all can find him, go ahead and get him because I guarantee these guys gonna sell out, and you're gonna find them on the aftermarket for ridiculous prices. You can find these; they are showing up at Targets. So start looking for them at your targets. He's the best one so far out of all of them. Swoop. Look at the articulation. In. Yes, the other guys got legs. They got uh, bendable legs, bendable knees, and thigh swivel, and all that good stuff. But as far as a articulated core class, Swoop has one two three four five six six points of articulation on him so one two the waist is three thigh swivel is four five so you go six seven eight oh what well, six yeah so head is one then you got waist is two three four for the elbow 
five for the for the thigh swivel, three for the uh, one, uh, four, six for the knee bend, and with the splits, which that's seven, seven articulations, seven on that core class. He's the best one by far, by far. I ain't trying to tell y'all to be greedy, but if you do, you better pick up two of them. At least two or three. All right. Now that's all I got to say about this guy. I mean, he is he is the he is the one to get. Of course, he's lacking in paint out on the wings, but he's not lacking in paint nowhere else. Like Grimlock and these guys, this dude is painted all the way down, all the way down, throughout the whole core class. All right. If y'all. Feel like y'all like this video? Y'all like what y'all saw? Give a thumbs up. If you dislike what you saw, you ain't think I hit the mark on it? Give a thumbs down. And I like to thank thank you to the subscribers that has subscribed to me. I'm up to 915, I think. I thank y'all for that. Thank y'all very much. Thank y'all. <clears throat> y'all just don't know how much I am enjoying this. All right, thank you to the, the, the subscribers, the new subscribers, and the upcoming subscribers. Thank y'all for watching this video. Um, yeah, like I said, man, y'all better get them. Y'all better get them. All right, and the next guy that's supposed to be coming out for us to finish him up is Snarl. So we should be able to see Snarl in the next coming months. So be a lookout for him. All right, so it's gonna be a six-piece deal. So we're gonna have six pieces of chicken for this for this guy right there. Six piece chicken and some biscuits go with this gravy. So that's why that's how we see it. So you better get your food, get get it, get your plate full, get your plate full on. Cause if you don't, you're gonna be missing out. All right, as I always say, God is good all the time. Ten, ten, neon prime out. Be blessed.